this car is in great demand among taxi drivers, and they will not buy a problematic or short-lived car. Yes, and the size of the Sonata suits them, outside it is representative, but inside it is quite spacious. How profitable is the Korean in operation? To become a bestseller, reliability and decent dimensions alone are not enough. Price plays an important role, and with this, the Hyundai Sonata V is all right. A set of all these qualities predetermined the high popularity of the machine in our market. And since 2003, it has become even more accessible when the assembly was set up in Tagan Rock. Sonata V was produced only as a sedan. The drive is on the front wheels, which is especially valuable for Russian conditions. There are two engines, and both are gasoline, a 2.0 liter 4, 133 horsepower, and a 2.7 liter V6, 178 horsepower. Gearboxes, 5-speed manual and 4-band automatic. The Koreans positioned the Sonata V as a family segment model, but in terms of dimensions it can easily compete with business class cars. The salon is spacious, and passengers in it are provided with worthy comfort. True, tall drivers may not have enough longitudinal movement of the seat, and its cushion will seem short. Three riders will fit on the back sofa, but the average one will not be very comfortable due to the rather high floor tunnel. The interior is rustic and outdated by today's standards. Finishing materials are not the most expensive, but the quality of workmanship raises no objections. The base Hyundai Sonata V in the GL version, with a 2.0-liter engine, was equipped with front airbags, electric windows, and heated side mirrors, as well as air conditioning and a CD radio. The GLS version also had ABS, headlight washers, fog lights, lightweight smooth discs, heated front seats, and climate control with the humidity control system. The interiors of these cars were trimmed with natural leather and wood inserts. The six-cylinder modification of the Sonata with automatic transmission was additionally equipped with side airbags, electric front seats, and rear disc brakes. A two-liter version with the gun initially came without fog lights and leather interior. From the icing reagents poured onto our winter roads, negative battery wires suffer, which provide grounding and ground in the onboard electrical network. Most often this is treated by cleaning contacts. Otherwise, you will have to change the negative wires. Repair will cost from 1900 rubles. The heated rear window often burns out. Usually the malfunction is eliminated by a penny replacement of blown fuses. Worse, if the heating of the front seats fails. The replacement will cost a decent amount, since for this you will have to buy a pillow assembly. The heating element is not supplied in spare parts, for 8000 to 10000 rubles. Four-cylinder engines are sensitive to fuel quality. Due to surrogate gasoline, the Lambda probe, from 2,700 rubles, and the crankshaft position sensor, from 1,200 rubles, often failed. The engine radiator tank is leaking. Replacement costs 7,500 to 10,800 rubles. And most importantly, the timing belt should be changed strictly after 60,000 kilometers, otherwise, its breakage will lead to repair from 10,500 rubles, or replacement of the blockhead for 45,000 to 80,000 rubles. V6 is surprisingly reliable and unpretentious. Of the typical malfunctions, only the failure of oxygen sensors, 3,200 rubles, can be called. Radiator flushing is recommended for all engines at least once every two years. There are no complaints about manual transmissions. But in vending machines, the incoming and outgoing rotation sensors occasionally break sensor spec. Replacement, from 4,500 rubles. The chassis is pretty solid. In the front suspension of the Korean, the weak point is the lower ball bearings. True, they cost only 500 rubles. A piece. But for the work you will have to pay twice as much for each side. Engines work great on 92 octane gasoline, however, they are very demanding on its quality. From bad fuel, Spark plugs fail earlier than expected, which for V6 cost from 1650 rubles. Per set. Gearboxes. Mechanics and automatic are considered quite reliable and durable. True, sometimes the automatic transmission gets into emergency mode without switching higher than second gear. This is usually treated by replacing the rotation sensors, 4,500 rubles. The front suspension is durable. Only by 20,000 to 30,000 kilometers of run do the stabilizer struts wear out, about 1,000 rubles apiece, and the support bearings, from 950 rubles apiece, of shock absorbers begin to creak after 3 to 4 years. Body. The paintwork is not very durable, on 3 to 4 year old cars, as a rule, 
there are already chips on the front fenders and hood. Chrome-plated parts sometimes do not withstand even one winter. The coating begins to swell. Rear suspension, minus 5 is complex in design, but will not ask for large investments. Serious expenses will be required only when you have to change the upper control arms complete with silent blocks, as well as the upper shock absorber mounts. Such repairs will cost no less than 12,000 rubles.